How to build credit for your EIN that is not linked to your Social Security number. Today we are going to dive in and talk about how you can build your business credit, which is credit that's linked to your EIN, not your Social. Business credit is credit that is obtained in a business name. With business credit, the business builds its own credit profile and credit score. With an established credit profile and score, the business will then qualify for credit. This credit is in the business name and based on the business's ability to pay, not the business owner's. Since the business qualifies for the credit, in some cases there is no personal credit check required from the business owner. The business can use its credit to qualify for revolving store credit cards like Staples, Lowe's, Sam's Club, Costco, BP, Walmart, even MasterCard, Visa, and American Express. The business can also qualify for credit lines and loans. Business credit provides you a lot of benefits. For one, a credit profile can be built for a business that is completely separate from the business owner's personal credit profile. This gives business owners double the borrowing power as they have both personal and business credit profiles built. Another benefit of business credit is that business credit scores are based only on whether the business pays its bills on time. A business owner can obtain credit much faster using their business credit profile versus their personal credit profile. Plus, approval limits are much higher on business accounts versus personal accounts. Per SBA, credit limits on business cards are usually 10 to 100 times higher than consumer credit. When done correctly, business credit can be built without a personal credit check. Business credit can quickly be obtained regardless of personal credit quality. Most business credit can be obtained without the owner taking on personal liability or a personal guarantee. This means in case of default, the business owner's personal assets can't be pursued. What most business owners don't realize is that when you apply for business financing, your business credit is reviewed. Not having business credit established will get an owner declined for financing. There are no regulations that require the lenders notify the business owner for their reason for denial, so most never know. How to build credit for your EIN that is not linked to your SSN. A business starts building a brand new credit profile much the same as a consumer does. The business starts with no credit profile. The business gets approved for new credit that reports to the business credit reporting agencies. The business uses the credit and pays the bill timely. A positive business credit profile is established. As the business continues using the credit and pays bills timely, it will qualify for more credit. The first step in building business credit is to ensure that your business is set up credibly in the lender's eyes. The perception lenders, vendors, and creditors have of your business is critical to your ability to build strong business credit. Before applying for business credit, a business must ensure it meets or exceeds all lender credibility standards. There are over 20 credibility points that are necessary for a business to have a strong, credible foundation. It is very important that you use your exact business legal name on the application that is listed on all of your company documents. Your full business name should include any recorded DBA filing you will be using. Ensure your business name is exactly the same on your corporation papers, licenses, and bank statements. You can build business credit with almost any corporate entity type. If you truly want to separate business credit from personal credit, your business must be a separate legal entity, not a sole proprietor or partnership. Unless you have a separate business entity, corporation or LLC, you might be doing business, but you are not truly a business. You need to be a corporation or an LLC in order to separate personal from business. Whether you have employees or not, your business entity must have a federal tax ID number or EIN. Just like you have a social security number, your business has an EIN. Your tax ID number is used to open your bank account and to build your business credit profile. 
Take the time to verify that all agencies, banks, and trade credit vendors have your business listed with the same tax ID number. Your business address must be a real brick and mortar building, must be a deliverable physical address. It cannot be a home address. It cannot be a P.O. box. And it cannot be a UPS address. Some lenders will not approve and fund unless this criteria is met. Business address solutions are available so you don't need to get an actual physical address. Some of these solutions offered from companies like Regis include Address only. Receive mail and packages at your dedicated business address. Virtual office. Professional business address, dedicated phone and fax numbers, receptionist services, and part-time use of fully furnished offices and meeting rooms. And a true office. Your own full-time private office with receptionist services, dedicated phone and fax, internet, full furnishings, meeting rooms, and more. For business credit approval, you must have a dedicated business phone number that is listed with 411 directory assistance under the business name. Lenders, vendors, creditors, and even insurance providers will verify that your business is listed with 411. A toll-free number will give your business credibility, but you must have a local business number for the listing with 411 directory assistance. Lenders perceive 800 numbers or toll-free phone numbers as a sign of business credibility. Even if you're a single owner with a home-based business, a toll-free number provides the perception that you are an even bigger company. It's incredibly easy and inexpensive to set up a virtual local phone number or a toll-free 800 number. A cell or home phone number as your main business line could get you flagged as an unestablished business that is too high of a risk. Don't give a personal cell phone or residential phone as the business phone number. You can forward a virtual number to any cell or landline phone number. Lenders perceive a credible business as one with a fax number. As a business, you will need a fax number to receive important documents. You will also need it to fax in some of your credit applications. You can set up an e-fax that goes directly to your email. Credit providers will research your company on the Internet. It is best if they learned everything directly from your company website. Not having a company website will severely hurt their chances of obtaining business credit. There are many places online that offer affordable business websites so you can have an Internet presence that displays an overview of your company's services and contact information. It is important to get a company email address for your business. It's not only professional, but greatly helps your chances of getting the thumbs up from a credit provider. Setting up a business email address is just too easy and inexpensive to neglect. Avoid using free email services like Yahoo and Hotmail. There is nothing worse than credit providers seeing an email address like partychick2009 at yahoo.com. The email address should be yourcompany.com. A great example is an email like support at yourcompany.com or john.smith at yourcompany.com. Your business bank history is vital to your future success of being able to secure larger business loans. The date you open your business bank account is the day that lenders consider your business to have started. So if you incorporated your business 10 years ago, but you just opened the business bank account yesterday, then your business started yesterday. The longer your business banking history, the better your borrowing potential will be. Having a high account balance is essential in obtaining an excellent bank rating. Having a good bank rating is essential for approval. Try to keep a bank balance of $10,000 or higher for a high five bank rating. One of the most common mistakes when building credit for your company is non-matching business addresses on your business licenses. Even worse is not having the required licenses for your type of business to operate legally. You will need to contact the state, county, and city government offices to see if there are any required licenses and permits to operate your type of business. Take some time to verify that all of your state business filings are listed correctly. County license and or permit filings are listed correctly. City license and or permit filings are listed correctly. And that your IRS filings are listed correctly.
Take the time to verify that Maine agencies, state, IRS, bank, and 411 National Directory have your business listed the same way and with your exact legal name. Also, take the time to ensure every bill you get, power bill, phone bill, landlord, etc., has the business name listed correctly and comes to the business address. After you have set up your business credibly, the next step in business credit building is for you to obtain your business credit reports to see what's being reported now and to monitor your business credit building in real time. Business credit reports are offered by Experian, Dun & Bradstreet, and Equifax. You will first want to get a copy of your business credit reports with at least DNB or Experian to see what is being reported. For your Experian reports, you can visit www.smartbusinessreports.com for a copy of your Smart Business Report. They will charge $49.99 for Smart Business Reports. On this report, you can find out how many trade lines are reporting, see if you have a business credit score assigned, see if you have an active Experian business profile, and check on recent inquiries. You can purchase a copy of your Equifax Small Business Credit Report at www.equifax.com forward slash small dash business. It typically takes more time to create a file with Equifax Small Business than DNB and Experian because such few companies report to Equifax Business. This is why it's important to apply with the credit providers who report to Equifax so you can build trade lines on that report as well as Experian and Dun & Bradstreet. Equifax charges $99.95 for a full business credit report. Obtaining a Dun & Bradstreet number, Dun's number, begins the process of building your business credit profile with them. Your Dun's number will also play an important role in enabling your business to borrow without a personal guarantor. To get your Dun's number, visit www.dnb.com. Dun & Bradstreet will sometimes try to charge you $299 to $699 for your Dun's number as part of a package, but you do not need to ever pay for your Dun's number. You can get it online at no cost. You can also enroll for the DNBI Self Monitor to monitor your credit during the building process. A subscription for DNB Self Monitoring is $39.99 per month. When you get the self-monitoring, you also activate your DUNS number and get your file a DNB rating. Your DNB rating can cost between $299 and $899 from DNB. Now that your business is set up credibly and you have access to your business credit reports, it's now time to start building your business credit. A business credit report can be started much the same as a consumer report commonly is, with small credit cards. The business can be approved for small credit cards to help them build an initial credit profile. These types of initial cards in the business world are commonly referred to as vendor credit. A vendor line of credit is when a company or vendor extends a line of credit to your business on a net 15, 30, 60, or 90 day terms. This means that you can purchase their products or services up to a maximum dollar amount and you have 15, 30, 60, or 90 days to pay the bill in full. So if you are set up on net 30 terms and were to purchase $300 worth of goods today, then that $300 is due within the next 30 days. Always apply first for vendor credit without using your social security number. Some vendors will request it, and some will even tell you on the phone they need to have it, but submit first without it. When your first Net30 account reports your trade line to Dun & Bradstreet, the Dun system will automatically activate your file if it isn't already. This is also true for Experian and Equifax. You need to have a total of at least five Net30 day pay accounts reporting to start getting revolving credit. Some vendors require an initial prepaid order before they can approve your business for terms. Your vendors do not necessarily have to serve 100% of your business needs. Keep this in mind as finding initial business credit sources who will approve you is tough to do. Pay your net 30 vendor accounts in full and on time. You must be patient and allow time for the vendors reporting cycles to get into the reporting systems. It typically takes three cycles of net accounts reporting to build credit scores. Most merchants and major retailers do offer business credit, they just don't advertise it. 
There is no benefit to the merchant to promote credit with no personal liability if the business owner is willing to take on that liability. So they don't promote their business credit cards and regularly ask for an SSN. After five trade lines are established using vendor accounts, obtaining revolving accounts is the next step. Revolving accounts are cards a business owner can use and not be required to pay the full balance owed each month. Revolving account approvals will begin coming from stores. Store revolving credit must be obtained before the business owner starts getting Visa, MasterCard, American Express type cards. Most stores will not approve a business owner for business credit unless the owner has an established credit profile and score just like in the consumer world. Vendor accounts must be used first to establish a profile and score, then store credit can be obtained. It usually takes only 90 days or less to establish a score and profile with trade lines. Once 10 total accounts are on the credit, an owner can then start applying for Visa, MasterCard, and Amex type credit. Approval amounts will be equivalent to the highest credit limit account on the business report. Try to have 10 accounts with at least one of them having a 10K high limit. It is essential to keep using the credit, keep applying for more, and talk with credit providers to raise credit limits. If you do this, business credit will keep growing until higher limit credit lines are obtained within 6 to 12 months. Contact us today to learn more about how to build credit for your EIN that is not linked to your SSN.